corrupt far-right extremist and Trump sycophant Devin Nunes has retired from Congress effective as of today. As The Hill's Michael Schnell reports, Nunez's resignation letter was read aloud on the House floor during a pro forma session on Monday. It is set to take effect at 11.59 p.m. today. The Honorable, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Madam, I write to inform you that I have notified California Governor Gavin Newsom of my resignation from the U.S. House of Representatives effective today at 11.59 p.m. The letter reads, Nunez announced last month that he was resigning from Congress to become the CEO of Trump's new company, the Trump Media and Technology Group. The company is advertising itself as an alternative to big tech. So he's gone. Good riddance. But I mean, it's not like he is really downgrading that much. Although I will say him getting a job at Donald Trump's big tech company doesn't really make a lot of sense because social media is popular because they're marketed to everyone. They are seemingly something that basically all of the population can use regardless of your political ideology. So if you're kind of like creating this platform specifically targeted towards the far right, I mean, from a business perspective, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as popular as a Twitter or a social media. And I get that Donald Trump's name itself is popular, but you're, you're kind of trying to compete against behemoths, even if you are Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is far out of his league and doesn't really know what he's doing. So it just seems like a really bad business decision, although he's not going to lose anything because he's already rich. And, you know, he's trying to say that in this new position, I'll have even more influence to fight for the goals of the far right, you know, than, than I do now as a member of Congress. But that doesn't even make sense because what he's giving up is a position of power where he could actually make a lot of changes to benefit him and the Trump sycophants. Quote, Nunez's plan to depart the House was a shock to many in Washington as the California Republican was poised to become the chairman of the powerful Ways and Means Committee if Republicans win control of the House in November's midterm elections. The congressman, in his announcement, said he was presented with a new opportunity to fight for the most important issues I believe in. Mm -hmm. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced last week that Mike Turner will replace Nunez as ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. So, I mean, good riddance, but don't get your hopes up to think that somebody better will take that seat. He's being replaced in GOP leadership by another extremist, and I'm sure that somebody who is equally or perhaps even more insane than him will replace him in Congress. But nonetheless, good riddance. I can't help but feel glad that he's gone, but he's still going to be present in the political sphere, still fighting to make America less democratic and a more extreme place overall at the behest of Daddy Trump. So he's out of Congress at least, but he's not going away anytime soon. And the best that we can hope for is that Trump's new media empire that he's trying to build crashes and burns. It's possible, but again, it's Donald Trump. So just by loyalty alone, he may be able to have something that sustains itself. But who knows at this point, Nunes is out of Congress and I guess it's a win. I'll take a win where we can get it because, yeah, not many victories in America, in modern American politics, but he's gone. So, bye. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.